As somebody who's been using Linux a little over a month and a full-time content creator, I had a lot of skepticism and doubt that it would be possible, but I've proved myself wrong. Now, I think a lot of people stop themselves into going full head on with Linux because they think they need specific things in order to do their job. As a content creator, I think I'm a little bit more stubborn and headstrong than most. We get attached to our operating systems, we get attached to the tools, and it becomes more and more difficult to transition to a different working environment altogether. But this year I decided to challenge myself and the first challenge of course was going on to Linux. One of the biggest things blocking me and stopping me from switching to Linux was my editing software. I used DaVinci Resolve. I do know that DaVinci Resolve works on Linux, but there are a little bit of workarounds and caveats with that. Once I got DaVinci Resolve installed, I was kind of sold on moving my whole workflow onto Linux. Now, in order to explain my workflow a little bit more easily, it would be helpful to show you my desktop setup and the tools that I use day to day. On my desk, you can see I have a dual monitor with my laptop, of course, and my laptop is the newest addition to my workflow. This is my Slimbook Creative model, and I chose this model because it is creativity focused, with an amazing CPU and GPU installed, and it is Linux first. I do have Linux installed on this device, and I will go more into details about my Linux distro and the software I'm using on it. Now, besides that, next to it, I have my tripod and my trusty Sony ZV-1F. I say trusty with a little bit of sarcasm. I do like this camera. It is a vlogging camera and I'm not a vlogger, so it's not really adapted for me as a creator, but it was not expensive and it's more or less easy to use. There are some bugs that I have to pay attention to. For example, for some reason, it automatically goes into a product shoot mode when I least expect it. And this can impact my workflow and I have to re-record because nothing's in focus. Other than that, I'm able to plug in my microphone. I chose a directional microphone. This is a Rode 2 microphone, I believe. It plugs directly into my camera and I really don't have to think about it. I also got the microphone used, so it was a lot cheaper. My main monitor is my MSI monitor. It doesn't have a high refresh rate. It is easy on the eyes, and this is one of the main reasons I chose it for my desktop. As far as lighting is concerned, I try to record during the day when I have free natural light. But if I have to make a late night stream or content or even make a video call in the evening, I have this cheapy ring light at the top that I got at Ross for $5. Now, as far as my setup goes, you can see that I have a lot of things connected to my computer. I have trust issues with Bluetooth in general. I don't know what this phobia comes from, but I want everything connected with a wire. I've just had so many things go wrong, disconnect. I don't trust it anymore. So even if I have Bluetooth capable equipment, such as my keyboard you see here, this is an ASIO Cascade, I got this a few years ago off of Kickstarter. I love this keyboard, but I just don't like my keyboard not connected by wire. So I do connect it by wire. I also have a Logitech gaming mouse that is a wire mouse and I use wired headphones. These are my Sennheiser over ear headphones. I sometimes switch these out with a cheapy earbud if I need it. Now that's my desktop tour. Sometimes I have additional things on my desk, such as my SuperNote Nomad to take some notes. And most of my work gets done, of course, on my computer itself. Now on my computer, I have Fedora 42 installed. This is the workstation version. And I also primarily use GNOME as my desktop environment. Within my desktop environment, I have a couple extensions added now that I find that made my workflow a lot easier. I have the dash to dock, as well as the desktop icons, so I'm able to drag and drop my files more easily when I'm creating content. 
What I like about GNOME is if you go to the top right hand corner, you have access to your screenshot and screen capture tools directly. So this saves me a lot of time and allows me to quickly create that B-roll if needed from my computer. Now at the bottom, of course, you can see my doc and in my doc, I have all of my creativity tools. As far as creating video, I can either use my camera, of course, which I use for most main channel videos, but if I'm streaming, I'm using OBS, of course. I just use OBS, connect my camera directly to my computer and stream that way. I know some other ways can be done to make the content better, higher quality, but I just go for the easiest way possible. I also use OBS when I'm recording my gameplay and I'm able to edit easily using certain editing tools. Now, of course, the main editing tool I use is DaVinci Resolve. There are some caveats using DaVinci on Linux versus Windows, for example. There are some codec issues sometimes when importing certain video formats. And in order to combat that, I have been using Handbrake. Handbrake allows me to easily convert the files to the file I need to import into DaVinci Resolve. And likewise, when I export, sometimes I want to change the format as well. I can do that easily in post and quickly and do it for free with Handbrake. If I have something simple to edit and I don't need to do a lot of audio or B-rolls or anything like that, I generally go to Caden Live. It's actually quite simple to just do some quick cuts, export and get my content out as fast as possible. So if you're looking for a free solution and you don't want to invest in DaVinci Resolve, you can also look into that option. Now, some additional tools that I use from an open source viewpoint is Ente. Ente is a photos and video management. It's kind of like Google Photos or Apple Photos. And basically I use this app every day, all the time, because I use my phone, my Google Pixel 8 with Graphene OS, of course. And I like to take B-rolls with my phone or any additional photos. And that automatically syncs with Ente on all of my devices. And it's actually a lot faster than Google Photos and even Apple Photos. I'm able to quickly upload, download, put it in my folders. I don't really have to think about it. It's honestly been one of the best apps I've been using for my photo management as far as being a content creator. Now some additional side noteworthy apps is of course Notes Nook. I use this for my notes across all of my devices. Again, I use it on my computer, my phone, and even additional computers or tablets if needed. Now as far as changing my workflow by switching to Linux, I didn't notice too much of a difference. Honestly, after getting the extensions I needed for GNOME, everything kind of works effortlessly. I find that the keyboard shortcuts are just a bit more logical on Linux personally. And if you're using the same software, for example, I was using DaVinci Resolve on Mac at one point, then I was using it on Windows, and now I'm using it on Linux. It works pretty much the same everywhere. Once you have your workspace set up, I don't really feel the difference. One of the major differences I noticed, of course, switching to Linux when you're using older hardware, I was using my ThinkPad P52 for the past year or so. Yes, the hardware is not optimized for gaming or editing completely, but I noticed when I switched to Linux with my ThinkPad that more of my RAM was open and more accessible for my editing software. This made editing on the timeline a lot smoother and I noticed my computer was running a lot less heavily, the fans weren't on as much, and it was just an easier workflow and easier on my hardware. I think when you're switching to Linux, you have to be a bit more open-minded and be ready to try different things, different workarounds, there's problem solving, but this could honestly happen with any operating system, especially if you're switching jobs or you have to work with specific things. I think when you're working for yourself, you have a little bit more liberty to try different things. And Linux has really opened my world into seeing the options that are available, especially for open source. I think eventually I will transition off of DaVinci Resolve perhaps, and maybe expand using different more open source softwares to expand my editing knowledge. Overall, this is my setup for now. Of course, things may change in the future. Maybe I'll get a different camera in the future, but honestly, I'm very happy where I'm at. 
And I just wanna show other people who are thinking about switching to Linux, especially creators, that it is possible. It is easy and it is worth it in the end. Honestly, I would never go back to using Windows or Mac at this point, and I'm really happy where I'm at. I wanna give a huge thank you to all of the channel supporters, and I wanna thank all of you for watching this video, and see you soon.